Hey, uh, Norlin Kolbeconk Watchdog. It's Steve Katsikaris, uh, just here in Oshawa, catching some uh, criminal activity in the courthouse at uh, 150 Bond Street. I got Diane's letter of complaint to the uh, Ontario Judicial Council about Justice Fryer basically admitting that uh, she read Diane's victim impact statement, which was destroyed on June 21st, uh, 2018, by an unfair court. Uh, what proves this is that the guy got a peace bond and he's guilty of a crime and we just got the peace bond document to prove this. But you see down here, right there, that's where the accused's name needs to go to validate this peace bond that my niece doesn't want on this guy because she says he didn't do a crime. So there's a, there's a fraud, fraudulent document and also if he is not guilty, which they claim that he is, in another piece of paper, then they have to do an 810 mini hearing, which was not done. So there has been an unlawful conviction of, against Kyle Parent at the Oshawa Courthouse, June 21st. There's a complaint now being made about Justice Fryer and also Judge Adamson who conducted the case and the Justice Council in, in Toronto is gonna to be getting this. So I thought I'd put it up on YouTube and I just showed you the peace bond is not even valid because the accused didn't sign it. So they're making this man guilty when there's a, a victim impact statement saying that he's not, it's been destroyed by the courts, and now the peace bond did not have an 810 mini hearing. So there's the legality of court procedures not being followed at the Oshawa Courthouse, and their involvement in conspiracy against the Katsikaris family, and me as the Norland Colbacon Community Watchdog and the Ryerson University student. So, um, I'm just gonna read this out really quick, just for the people at home can hear what, what Diane has to say, and then we're gonna mail it off. And it's gonna be uh, put into her case for the family court. So there it is here, June, uh, July 6, sorry, 2018. I'll just read it out here. Uh, it says, Complaint about Justice Fryer, uh, Courthouse, Oshawa, Ontario, 150 Bond Street. Justice Fryer has ignored victim impact statement from being heard at a motion hearing, and that's family rule one that she's broken. Judge um, also uh, ignores and breaks additional laws, such as family rules four, uh, allowing me to be retained to help her because she is a victim. Rule 8, economic hardship because the courthouse is supporting a deadbeat dad. And 17, to correct any injustices done. So these are all laws that she's breaking. Family Act 29 and 30, uh, my niece also meets the requirement under those. Divorce Act Section 15 where she has the right to ask for child support and spousal support and where Justice Fryer is in um, violations under the Ontario Court of Justice Act Part 2 where she's not supposed to be biased uh, for a deadbeat dad. So uh, we got the family mo motion hearing was on June 28, 2018 in courtroom 507 at 930 where Justice Fryer has committed injustice against this young woman. So I'm just gonna read out her letter. Uh, it says, I, Diane Katsikaris, is submitting this letter to the Ontario, Cor Ontario Judicial Council for the misconduct of Justice Fryer. I'm a single mother of two which has been thrown out of her home by her spouse who has been able to evade paying spousal, uh, paying spousal and child support. It's quite clear under the Family Act that I meet the requirements under 29 and 30. I'm also entitled by law to receive interim support for spousal and child. It's clear that under Form 13 that the breadwinner spouse of the family must pay and keep the status quo. I was supposed to receive child support from him last year in June 2017 and it was overturned. I have now been living well below the poverty line since, while this courthouse in Oshawa has allowed a deadbeat dad to evade paying child support. Justice Fryer, during the motion hearing, did also admit on the record that she's aware of my financial situation and that my needs and means are not being met. Furthermore, I am recently a victim of crime that led to a guilty verdict, and the judge would not let the victim impact statement be read aloud in court for the criminal hearing and now being prevented again from being heard by Justice Fryer. I'm convinced my original victim impact statement that was brought to trial on June 21st, 2018 has been destroyed by the court in order to cover up criminal conspiracy. I feel since I'm a victim of crime and that I'm also unable to find a lawyer due to the nature of this crime, it is my hope that I can have a family member represent me from here on in. I, Diane Katsikaris, want the court to accept my uncle Stephen Katsikaris, that's a little old me, uh, to represent me in my family matter because I feel that I have been mistreated by the Oshawa Courthouse since June of 2017. I'm requesting the Justice Council to investigate this matter of mine with urgency because I have the right to be heard as a victim of crime and be represented by a family member in court. 
I even managed to have my request put in an earlier after David to, get, to allow the judge to give permission so that my uncle could file a Form 4, and that's for me to represent her. Justice Fryer flat out denied the, my request and expects me to do trial by myself. I feel this is wrong, and Justice Fryer couldn't even give a valid reason in denying my request. It is my hope, as a single mother of two children, that the Justice Council will investigate this matter and ensure Canadian law and justice are carried out. Sincerely, Diane Katsikaris, and you can see there's her signature there, and we're going to mail this out on July 6, 2018, and hopefully there will be some good judges in Toronto that are going to stop the misconduct at the Oshawa Courthouse. And my brother and I are going back July 30th without an arrest warrant or a reason to even arrest us because we know about these illegal sewage systems in Norland. So you can see why this is a criminal conspiracy. So my family is definitely under the, under the gun now, the Durham Regional Police, and using family members for their uh, dirty work. So I'm um, just going to record this. And uh, once again, I'm Steve Katsikaris. I'm St uh, your Norland Cobalcon Community Watchdog, watching out for the taxpayer and the environment. And stay tuned for my next video. So long, everybody.